Since last year, performing artists and many of their musicians had complained of the royalties they receive from the collection management organizations. Hundreds, if not thousands, of our young men and women have invested an incredible amount of effort in the industry, but are getting very low returns from their investment. And we must allow their investments to pay off so that many more can follow them into the industry. And I believe that this way we can do exceptionally well. During address to the nation, President Uhuru Kenyatta backed the Memorandum of Understanding in December last year to help resolve legacy issues that have plagued rights holders for decades and ensure journeying right holders are appropriately compensated for their compositions. The entertainment industry are also a critical plank of our economy. Kenyans are indeed highly talented and the music industry is potentially one of the most lucrative in our country. Further, content service providers will be required to channel all payments of royalties through a single centrally managed account at the Kenya Copyright Board. This will enable oversight by the regulator and ensure that the collection and distribution of accounts are easily auditable. New tariffs for the year is also expected to boost revenue in the creative industry. The Kenya Copyrights Board with the assistance of the Ministry of ICT, has already reviewed and agreed on the tariffs for 2020. These tariffs are to be gazetted and will form the basis on which compliance will be monitored. This, as the Kenya Association of Music Producers CEO Anthony Karani announced the payment of 8 million Kenya shillings to members since the beginning of the year. The government is encouraging that we pay 60% of those payments based on airplay. Last December, I think we paid a general distribution which favors how much production you make. And, and it's also to encourage our, our, our members to produce more music, not just produce one, one CD and, and, and just stay there. Progress has been made to address royalty issues, challenges such as formulating a reward system that ensures producers get returns for played abroad, as well as to ensure at least percent of music played is produced locally. Fiona Shuru for Channel One Business News.